Hello everybody and welcome to another Wisconsin Air Gunners video. In this one we're going to try and figure out whether this beast of a 35 caliber air gun, the AEA HP Max, can be tamed. The bolt action HP Max is a relatively short barreled 35 caliber air gun. As a result it goes through quite a bit of air and is pretty tough to moderate. In this test, we're going to try two out, the 45 50 cal Great Kami and the 357 Ronin by Donnie FL. We're going to try it with the Ronin alone, as well as with the Ronin and the extender. And we're going to try and give you some relative numbers so that you have an idea of what to expect if you try to tame this beast for yourself. This is a monster air gun that is slinging 81 grain pellets well over 100 foot-pounds and it hits with authority. In this video we're going to talk about the noise it makes, whether or not we can successfully moderate it, and then take a little look at accuracy. But first, I know some of you really like to know this, the trigger pull comes in at about four and a half pounds. It's pretty consistent and feels a lot like an AR trigger. Setting up to do a test of the noise level produced by an air gun should be pretty straightforward. Set up a decibel meter, record some video with audio, and everything should just work out. Unfortunately, there are all kinds of variables that can throw off your numbers. Here we're shooting the HP Max and 35 with the Ronin and extender and we got a measurement pretty consistently of 106 decibels. So these numbers are relative to the testing that I was doing in the environment I was testing with the equipment I was using. Please don't quote me on this. I'm using the DJI Pocket 2 camera to record this and it seems to have a little less of the noise canceling than say my iPhone does. Uh, but it still does, I would say, take the edge off really loud noises. I also had this little thing where, because it was so cold, it kept uh, shutting off the gimbal part, I think to keep it from freezing up. And as a result, you're not going to see me shooting the rifle with the great Kami installed. Now this is the 45 50 cal version of the great Kami. Now, there is significant noise reduction with the great Kami. In fact, it worked way better than I thought it would, especially since it's so overboard for this caliber. And it's way quieter than just the Ronin by itself. The Ronin 357 usually gives me a reading right around 114 decibels. I've had a few times where it's been as high as 117. But again, that's due to variations in the testing environment and equipment placement. I also think that most of the equipment that is reasonably priced doesn't do particularly well with noises that are here and gone very quickly. Uh, it seems like a lot of the meters that you can buy on Amazon give us readings or are designed to take readings of noises that are loud and persistent, not like an air gun shot here and gone in a split second. I am certainly not a sound engineer, and I could be totally wrong on that, but I've seen some I would say wonky readings where I know one thing was louder than another thing, yet the meter showed a lower number. My preference is to take multiple shots and then look at the loudest and report that to you. So where does that leave us if what we're trying to do is quiet this beast of an air gun? Every time I have taken a recording of this rifle without a moderator, 
the readings I've got have been over 125 decibels, which is above the pain threshold. In my opinion, you should not be shooting the AEA Max 35 caliber without hearing protection and without moderation. Putting on an adapter from Donny FL and then adding a Ronin 357 will bring it down below that but it's still quite loud and depending on your situation you may or may not need a little more help. Adding an extender to the Ronin brings it down to a little bit closer to something that's backyard friendly and the Great Kami is not far behind just a few decibels. Now a few decibels is noticeable to the human ear so the Kami is not as quiet as the Ronin and the extender. I was surprised that the great Kami did as well as it did, mostly because it's bored for a 50 caliber slug, and usually having too big of an opening out front reduces how much suppression you get. So let's shoot a group. I've got nine degrees outside. It is, um, a little bit windy, got about an eight mile an hour wind. It's coming out of the Northwest. Um, so kind of slicing across the range. I've got a camera down range to capture what's hitting down there. Uh, I just put this on, it's a Vict Optics one by six. It's a nice little LPVO. Glass seems pretty good. So we're giving that a try. And we're shooting the 35 or 357 81 grain FX pellets. Every time I look at one, I'm like, wow, that's really a pellet. So let's, uh, let's see what a group does. It looks kind of like that first one was a little bit high, uh, but beyond that, not too bad. There are three more, three more in the mag. Let's see. Let's go down and take a look. Well, you can see the bulk of those shots are right across that middle, affected, I think, a little bit by wind. I know this was the first shot, uh, a little bit high, and I'll have to replay to see where that one came in. Uh, but for an unregulated gun, uh, eight shot group. If I were shooting at, I would say a target appropriate 
animal was a 35 cal so like a coyote or something like that I think all those would be um, all those would be shots that would end the day for that animal the AEA HP Max is an interesting rifle it's super powerful and super compact that also brings the challenge of being super loud it can be moderated but that brings a little more length to the table accuracy is decent but i think it's going to take me a little bit more time to play with fill pressures so i can figure out where that curve starts and lets off and get the most out of the shooting experience for this gun. I hope you've enjoyed the video and hope you found it informative. Until the next one, shoot safe and shoot straight and we'll see you around.